Have you heard that most video gamers are now adult women? Well, a new study says yes. Feminist tech writers have seized on the study as proof that the video industry has fallen behind the times. Too many games, they say, perpetuate a culture of sexism and misogyny. Has the gentle sex taken over video games and are games rife with sexism? Has the gentle sex taken over video games and are games rife with sexism? Well, those are two different ideas and the title of your video is Are video games sexist? And I don't think you answer this You cite two studies But they're both about how many women play games That doesn't address sexism at all So find some other studies to back up your claims Are there video games that are rife with sexism? Is that true? Do they promote a culture of misogyny and violence? Misogyny and violence, two separate issues, and this conflates them. Misogyny and violence, it must be dismantled. My answer is no. no. Gamers do make a lot of people nervous. Games like Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty were said to cause violence, even though no one has been able to establish a clear correlation. You're talking about violence, I thought we were talking about sexism. Now gamers are dealing with a new army of critics, hipsters with degrees in cultural studies. Now gamers are dealing with a new army of critics, hipsters with degrees in cultural studies. At hominem, at hominem. Why, they ask, isn't it more intrusive? Good question. Why must there always be male heroes? Good question. Why are females portrayed either as damsels or Good question. Or sex objects, sex objects, sex, 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 sex objects. These critics have made some useful points. Sexist tropes and narratives. Which points? These critics have made some useful points. Please point them out. Yet the video game gender police have become so harsh, intolerant, relentless. That they want the male video game culture to die. A lot of cherry picking, nor the fact that the world of gaming has become inclusive. There are games that fit a vast array of preferences. You wanna talk cherry picking just because there are a few AAA games with female protagonists that aren't just about their boobs. Doesn't negate the fact that most AAA games are full of sexist tropes. That's what hipster culture critics say. Less sexism is the whole. Male gamers, as a group, do evince a strong preference for games with male heroes and sexy women. Could that be because they are a male? So what you're saying is that games are sexist and that boys will be boys. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Well, me, I want a more choice. There is no evidence that these games are making males racist, misogynist, homophobic. Nobody said it made you sexist. Racist or homophobic Imagine if a group of gender critics attacked women-centered shows like Oprah False equivalence False equivalence Recently, two feminist critics received and publicized email death threat. I have spent the last few weeks looking into gamer culture, talking to gamers, looking at the data I don't see pathology on internet death. What I see is smart, creative tech savvy guys. But if you love games, they don't really care about your age, your race, your ethnicity, your gender, your sexual preference. They just want the game. My suggestion to their critics, stand down. No, we will not stand down. My suggestion to their critics, stand down. No.